Fleming from Prepare to Die Paper Crafts wearing my Christmas Darth Vader shirt because it's laundry day. So I um, thought I would come in and make a card. Sorry for the delay. I have a migraine today. So I am, um, I'm probably going to be pretty quick. I've laid out most of my card as it is and we're using something that, we're making something that uses a punch. So um, no big shotting. Very simple today. I just wanted to come in, make a card, show you some more new stuff that customers will be able to buy next month and actually demonstrators can buy now. So if you see something you can't live without until June, then join my team and you'll be able to get it right away. So I'm going to, um, we'll see, put up my little thingy and then I should probably put it right in front of my face. This looks totally professional. And then I'm going to, oh, y'all, my desk is a total wreck. Then I'm going to um, take this off, flip it around, and we'll get started. Um, how do I? Okay. You would think I haven't done, like, 30 of these where I don't have to, like, I mean, like, I don't know what I'm doing already. But it does take me a while to know what I'm doing. Let's see how much of that. Oh, I'm going to turn off my light because I see we're getting some shadow and I forgot to turn it off. So that should be better as far as no shadow. It's a little darker in here, but it's kind of dreary today. I'm in central Texas. I don't know um, where you are, but you can pop on and tell me. Um, I should see comments. Um, but yeah, so we're going to make a card using this absolutely beautiful Daisy sweet. I actually don't know what it's called. I should have I should be I should have should be. Anyway, I'm going to show you the paper and The reason I want to show you every piece of this paper is because the pictures in the catalog Which if you have ordered from me in the last six months I'm sending you a catalog as soon as I get them in this week if you haven't and you would like a catalog I'm going to put up a link for you to subscribe to get my catalogs but I'm sending uh, catalogs out probably into this week or over the weekend. Anyway, this is um, this is one sheet of the daisy paper. And the reason I want to show you every sheet is because in the catalog, it just does not do this paper justice. It's so much prettier in person. I saw it in the catalog and I went, eh, meh. And then I saw it in person on the display boards at on stage and decided I had to have it. So that's one sheet. Here's another. Love this. We're getting embossing paste in the new catalog and I think this is going to look really cool on cards where we use the embossing paste because it kind of looks like you've used embossing paste there. And then here's the back side of it. This has a lot of good colors. I think it's a lot of good color combinations. They used um, Night of Navy, Calypso Coral, Pool Party, Daffodil Delight, and there are some lighter peaches that I thought was peekaboo peach, but it must just be Calypso Coral stamped off. This looks really cute with the uh, with the new uh, pocket dies and that pocket stamp set, the sunshine in my pocket stamp set. It's called Pocket Full of Sunshine, but I'm always going to think of it as sunshine in my pocket because, you know, just in the lake. So funny. My daughter's so obsessed with it right now. Get so excited about InSync. Those are some pretty daisies. That's not my favorite. But the back side is my favorite. I love it. Oh yeah, old olive is a good color in here. What else? Um so this one's really pretty. And then tranquil tide on the back of that. And I love all the fading on these sheets. It's so pretty. There's that other one I already showed you. And then this one. Kind of, I don't know, that's not my favorite, but I can see where it's got its place. But I like the back side of it with the tranquil tide. So that's the new paper, and I'm going to use that in my video. And we're also going to use the, the stamp set, which I have pulled out and naturally don't see. Oh, uh -huh. here it is. Um, so the Daisy Delight stamp set. That is available in the demonstrator pre-order, and it'll be available for customers June 1st. 
And then we're going to use Calypso Coral and Old Olive. And get this out of my way. We're just making a super quick, super simple card because of my stupid headache. So I'm I'm not I'm not completely sure what we're doing, but sometimes those turn out to be the best cards. So I'm using a sketch that I found over at Stop hitting the thing, Sarah. I'm using a sketch that I found over at Global Design Project this week. And I want to play along over there. So um it's one of those slanty sketches, and I have a terrible time doing slanty sketches, so I decided to challenge myself and actually participate. So I got a piece of this paper. I cut four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and then I went along and just kind of chopped off bits until I was happy with the angle and happy. And, and that, I'll show you how I did that. Um, so you've got like your... Sarah! Sorry, I just knocked... I knocked off the piece of paper I was going to use to show you. So I'll show you on a small piece of paper. So like, say this is a two by two, and if you want to cut it off at an angle, just line it up where one point is in your little track line, and then kind of get whatever angle you want so that in this line, that's what you're cutting, so that you end up with something like that. So it always takes me a minute to wrap my brain around how to cut an angle, and I don't know why. It shouldn't. So we're going to have that. And then this is the back side of that same paper. I'm going to stick that there. And I'll cut off the, the sides. And I've got this. This is, I just love this. I love the dimension on this. It's not 3D paper, but it's got such a good 3D look. I hope you can see that. Um, so we're going to put that on the bottom there. And then, according to the sketch, I'm supposed to cover the whole thing up. Which makes me really sad because I love that paper. But the reason we buy paper is so we'll chop it up and use it. So I don't know what we're going to do on this yet. We're going to take out some stamps and start playing around and see what we come up with. So let me glue these bits. No, I'll wait and glue them at the end after I figure out what I'm going to do. So I could stamp big daisies because I want to kind of do something like is in here. So I think I might take... Oh, of course, none of the stamps are in this paper. So I might stamp this little daisy. Maybe stamp it. Ooh, no, I'm going to stamp these leaves. These are fun. And I'm just, well, we'll take that out just in case. So this is a photopolymer stamp set. There's a lot of red rubber in the catalog that's coming out. but And I'm only about half and half. I think probably, I don't know, I might be two-thirds photopolymer now just because... With all the two-step stamping you can do with the photopolymer. Because you can see straight through it and you can know exactly where everything's going. So I'm going to stamp. Can you see me? Yeah. I'm trying to stamp around this thing without... Um, aw, pretty. Um, so I'm just going to kind of stamp some leaves all over this. But I'm trying to stamp around my camera holder without actually... I saw a tip on another camera holder that I think I want to get. Because this one, this one works okay, but it's way too shaky. So I'm just kind of stamping this. And I'm stamping an old olive, which is one of my favorite greens. It's a great Christmas green. And it's also, oh, look at that. I'm going to stamp right over that line and make it look like it was kind of sort of on purpose. I'm going to go in here, and then I think I'll do one more off the edge over here. So, oh, no, wait. I want to put one a little bit right there. Okay, so I've got that. I'm going to take this off because then I'm going to, I'm going to put on the solid one. And what I'm going to do with the solid one is I'm going to stamp it but I'm going to stamp it in a lighter color. So I'm going to, I've got my old olive. I'm going to stamp it off once on my grid paper and then stamp it here. Right over my leaf. So I love how you can get, because you can get so many shades, especially from a dark color. So there's the first shade. There's your second shade. There's your third shade. With a dark color like old olive, you can get four. A little bit of five so 
I'm gonna go with the second shade here. I might even do a few stamped off twice just to get a little more dimension on these leaves and on this panel. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I don't usually think to stamp off twice um, very often. Oh, look what I did. That's okay. Kind of gives it gives it more of a kind of a hand colored look. I don't want to stamp any of these full strength. Stamp that one off twice. But these, uh, this gives you a couple of different shades you can work with. You can get four or five shades out of one ink pad just by stamping off. So don't forget that little trick. And then you know your ink colors coordinate. Sometimes I pull out ink pads and I'm like, oh, which two? Oh, totally missed the mark on that one. I'm going to try it again. Um, sometimes I, pff, that didn't help. Uh, I'll pull out two ink pads and then I, I'm like, do these go together? And I spend so much time trying to figure out what goes together. But really, all i got to do is stamp off. And then I automatically have colors that I know go together because they're the same color, just a different shape. So, that's nice. Okay, let's see how our card is looking so far. I'm probably going to re-stamp that one since, since I am submitting it in a challenge. But I'll also mail... I'm going to actually put this whole card together because I'm also going to mail this. I don't think your cards that you're mailing, your hand mail, handmade cards, I don't think they need to be perfect. So that's kind of nice. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, I hate to cover up that paper though. I think I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to be a rebel with the sketch and I'm going to put it behind. I'm going to put it behind the, no, Ugh. see this is what happens when I try to design, I, it takes me so long to design a card because I'm never happy. Okay, but that, ooh, that could even, that would even make a good pocket card. If you just glued down the sides, I hope y'all can see this. Yeah, if you just glued down the sides, like with some tear and tape, just run a strip of tear and tape along the sides, you could have this be a pocket that comes out. Ooh, I think I'm going to do that later. Um, cause then you could have like a gift card attached to it or something stamped on the back of it. And then you still have the inside of your card, um, which you don't even have to have. You could just do a card front with that pocket that comes out and then you're saving your card stock and you're also giving them a nice surprise. But if you have a lot to say, you could do inside of the card and outside of the card. Okay. So I like that. And then I'm going to come along with some. Okay, I'm ha I have to glue all of this down. No, wait. I need a daisy first. I'm going to put a flower on this thing. Oh, I just... I can't cover up that paper. It's too pretty to cover. Okay, where's my daisy stamp? I just showed you all this, right? I just showed you the daisy stamp set. And now, there it is. I need, like, a designated spot where I put stuff during my video. I'm going to stamp this big daisy... And I feel like I'm getting to where I might have too much going on on this card, but we'll see. If we do, I'll flip over the white piece and and then we'll we'll deal with it. All right, let's see. Is that big enough? That is just big enough. So I'm gonna stamp the daisy in Calypso Coral. And I'm going to do it twice because I'm going to layer this daisy. Oh, I love this stamp set. It's got such a, I don't know, these big Gerber daisies, however you say it. Oh, they're fun. And we're going to stick a little gem in the middle. So we're going to punch that out. 
So if you're fairly new to stamping and you don't know, um, whenever you punch, you stamp first and then punch. It's not as critical with photopolymer stamps. And then if you have trouble getting it in, just clip off a corner like I did. It's not as critical with photopolymer stamps because with photopolymers, I need to sharpen my punch. No, that didn't punch very well. Um, it could be the paper too. I have trouble cutting Whisper White. Um, I should use Thick Whisper White. I never have trouble cutting Thick Whisper White. But when I, um, yeah, so you stamp first and then stick it where you can see it. And that's how you punch out a stamped image. In case you did not know. It's one of those things that you take for granted when you've been doing it for a long time, but you don't realize that when you're first starting out, you don't automatically know these things. So I like to throw in some things like that. And I'm going to put a dimensional between the two layers. And I think I'm going to have to... I have to, because... Y'all just need to see how pretty they are. I have to put on one of these babies. These are my favorites. Okay, everything's my favorite. I know, I know. I always say everything's my favorite. But I'm going to stick this right in the middle. Perfect size for these daisy centers. I want to make sure y'all can see how shiny this is and how pretty. These are the faceted gems. Those are in the new catalog. Demonstrators can order them now. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of fluff this up a little bit. So it has more of a 3D effect. And then glue everything down and then we'll add a sentiment. I have not decided what I'm doing with this piece of paper. But I'm just going to make it. And we'll see how it comes out. And if it's pretty, it's pretty. And if it's not, eh, that's how you learn. That's how I learn. I make all the errors. And then I usually learn something from it. And I think I might. My, it might. Me. <clears throat> I can't talk. I can't talk. Just watch my hands because my face isn't working. It's... Oh, my glue isn't working. Okay. Hang on. I have a glue. Oh. <laughs> my baby wipes are out. Like, I must have used the last one and didn't know it. Okay, so I'm about to get really messy. I'm just going to wipe this. I had a clog, I guess. And we're going to see if I can make this card without smudging glue all over everything. Outlook is bleak. But this is why I have to use glue. I can't just stick something down and and it's in the right spot to begin with. I have to twist it and fiddle with it for a while. Now I've got glue all over my fingers and no baby wipes to get it off. Okay, I think I'm dry enough. Okay, we're going to try this. I'm just going to put it right down there because I don't care if the... I don't care how much of the piece that I stamped shows. Of course, you know, I do want to make that piece again for a different card and let it show because I think it could be a really fun focal point. Especially if I add in some little stamp daisies because you have because that the stamp set's got smaller daisies too okay so let's see what this looks like I'm gonna glue this on I like this little piece on the back too see with the DSP um stamping up without fail if I don't like one side of the paper I usually love the other side so but then sometimes I get paper where I like both sides Ah. This is not straight. By the way, you can still be a demonstrator even if you can't glue straight, as evidenced by me and my lousy gluing skills. Well, we're done with softball. My daughter finished her last softball game. And they had this little closing ceremony. It was really cute. It was T-ball, so they, they didn't have a real scoreboard. We didn't win any games, though. 
Well, technically we won one because <laughs> we played this one team that brought only six players to a game, so technically they had to forfeit. But then they still beat us with six players. <laughs> but we had a lot of fun this season, and the girls had fun, and they learned a lot, so that was what was important. I, d I just cannot get, like was this one coach that we played against and she was intense. I'm like, lady, it's T-ball. But, um, oh, that's pretty. Look at that. I did want to, where's my ribbon? Okay, wait. Y'all can help me decide if y'all will comment. Oh, wait, we need a sentiment. We still need a sentiment. Okay, where are we putting our sentiment? Hmm. And where's my stamp set? Again. Seriously, y'all. I can't keep track of anything while I'm using it. Did I? Hmm. Okay. Well, somewhere I have some. Here. I have this thank you. This one you can get now. And I'll just use one of these. We'll see. Thank you. Um, you're amazing. We'll use you're amazing. And we'll, we'll just stamp it in... What are we going to stamp in? Old Olive, because we've got our, our little coral daisy. So we'll stamp this in Old Olive. Y'all don't really come to watch me stamp, right? Y'all come to watch how many times I, like, totally um, embarrass myself, right? Because, I mean, the <laughs> there's not as much stamping as there is embarrassing myself here. Okay, I'm going to try this. Okay, then. We'll try that. Pretty. Now I have to decide what I'm going to punch it out with. Oh, this one. This is a new one. Uh, demonstrators can get this one in the pre-order right now. This is the pretty label punch. Customers can get it on June 1st. So, oh, that, that's a good punch for that sentiment. I wasn't entirely sure if I would like this punch, but I got it free. They sent This was part of my display stamper stuff. And... Uh, Let's see, where do I want to put that? I think that daisy needs another dimensional under it. What do you think? I think so. Um, where's my... Okay. Yeah, so... Anyway, we're done with softball. Their little closing ceremonies were really cute. They, The girls were... They had a lot of fun, and they... There were some baseball boys who came over. I don't know if they volunteered or their parents or... Or if they had siblings on... Well, I don't know. Anyway, these little boys in baseball came over and held up their bats so that the girls could walk through the tunnel of bats. And I thought that was adorable. Okay, we need one other little thing on here. I'm going to take this piece of Knight of Navy. And I'm going to punch another one of these out. But yeah, the girls walked through the tunnel of bats that are held up in the air. And they thought that they were pretty special. Buttercup, well, I think they all did, but Buttercup went through and high-fived all the boys as she was walking through. Okay, so I like that. See, sometimes when you just have a punched image, you need a little something behind it. That's too much glue, but it's not as much as came out earlier. Okay, so I, so I just punched the same thing, and then I offset it a little bit so that I have a little bit of dimension behind my little punched image. So, oh, I love this. Okay, I'm happy with this card now. I was going to also use some old olive ribbon on it, but I think we're good. And then, like, I think we're good without the old olive. But y'all can help me decide. I know y'all are shy, though. Y'all don't like to leave comments, and that's fine. I'm not... Um, do you think I should put the little doodad in there? These are new little wood shapes, that, and you can, you can smush them into your ink and color them. I've done that. And they're really cool. So I don't know. Should I put this on somewhere? Or leave it off? Because I kind of like the card just as it is. I think I'm going to leave it off. What do you think? Anyone have an opinion? Well, I'm not getting any comments. So I'm going to go with this. So I think I'm going to go with this. I think that's... I think it's a fun card. And... Oh, wait. Do, does it need rhinestones, though? No, I have to stop. It's already got something shiny on it. I can't make a card without something shiny on it. When I do, I always feel guilty. 
for ignoring my embellishments. So, well, anyway, I think that's going to be my card. Oh, Cindy has an opinion. Okay, Cindy's not feeling the wood thing and loves out. Thanks, Cindy. Um, yeah, so there's the card. I think I'm going to call it a day and go pop some migraine medicine and and see how, um, see if I can't feel better. So thanks for joining me. And to Cindy, thank you for commenting. And um, so we'll, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and submit it just as it is to that challenge. And... And I'll see y'all next week. I should be here at 12.30 on Monday. And I will put up links to my, that, and I'll put up my host code for May. And I'll put up links to anything I talked about. Plus, I will put up the link to, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me show you. Uh, the Random Act of Kindness card group. The Random Acts of Kindness card group. Um, I got this rack card this week. Man, I had a great line, too. I got this from Molly Judkins. And I had a great line. I was going to be like, y'all want to see my rack? But I totally forgot to use it. I can't believe it. Um, so I got that one from Molly Judkins. I'll show you again. I didn't show you for very long. I love that one. I thought that was really pretty. It was so special to get that. I love this group. Y'all should join it. You don't have to be a demonstrator. You just use current Stampin' Up! products. And it's really a lot of fun. I got this one from Regina Locken. Absolutely love it. I love... Because this... I love this happy... The happy celebrations... Um, I love this whole little set that's in the Occasions catalog and is continuing into the new catalog. And I love that she put Happy Mail on it because that's what these Random Act of Kindness cards are. They're Happy Mail. So those are the ones I got this week that made me very happy. And then let me show you. This was April's Paper Pumpkin Kit. You got to make, I think there were nine. I used some of them and changed them up to make cards for my daughter's coaches. So these were the April Paper Pumpkin. And they were a lot of fun. That's our monthly subscription box. And those were, um, so those were three of the, uh, man, was it nine cards? I think it's nine cards. Three of the nine cards. It might have been 12. I can't remember. Anyway, if you want to sign up for May, you have to sign up before the 10th. So um, you have like two days to sign up for May. But that one was a lot of fun this last month, and I can't wait to see what we get in May. So. Anyway, thanks for joining me for my um, demonstration. If you uh, missed the video, it'll be posted up in a few minutes, and you'll be able to go back and watch it um, watch it uh, back. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you all next week. Bye.